Hi, I'm Paul. So this video is going to be about DaVinci Resolve's workspace and how we can free up some uh, areas and make it uh, less cluttered. And like my other videos that I've been doing recently, I'm providing a free PDF that you can download. You don't have to provide any information at all, no email address, nothing. It's just a link, you click on it, PDF will open up in your browser and you can download it. So I'm gonna be using that PDF uh, for this video. So I'm gonna open DaVinci Resolve and then we can get started. Okay, so I'll put links in the description of the video so you can go and download DaVinci Resolve, either the free version or the paid version. And in the PDF, there's uh, the links for doing the same thing, downloading it, plus links for downloading the DaVinci Resolve manuals. So I've got DaVinci Resolve uh, open and Yesterday I created a video about um, configuring and setting up DaVinci Resolve's press, uh, preferences. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that video as an example for this video. As you can see, um, well, maybe you can't, but everything is kind of messed up. I've made a lot of changes. I've opened and closed things here. So you wanna be down here on the edit icon so that we're in the edit section of DaVinci Resolve, the edit panel. And to get everything reset, so we're looking at the same thing. And you can do this from any of these, uh, these panels. Come up to workspace and then come down to reset UI layout. And we should be looking at the same thing. And I'm going to be using this PDF to use as a, a guide for this tutorial. So if you download the PDF, you can watch this uh, video and you can follow along with it. So this area over here is the media pool. And this area is the preview window. Now, I, I'm not recording the audio um, for these, um, these tracks. So normally, if you scrub over an audio track, and that's what these four are, these are audio tracks, and this is the video clips, when you scrub over like this, you will you'll hear it. You can disable it, but you'll hear the the audio. But that's not necessary for this video. So, audio clips, video clips, graphics, photographs, um, JPEG or PNG images, all your media will you'll drag and drop into this area, and so you can hover over it and you can see a larger preview. This is uh, the timeline window. So if you, and this is the playhead. So if you drag your playhead across the timeline, you'll see a preview over in this window. So I rarely ever need to have the media preview window open. So to close that, just come to the upper right hand corner of the screen and select where it says inspector. And that will close that window. And to give us some more workspace, come up here to the upper left hand corner and select shrink. So now your timeline down here is all the way across the screen of your uh, monitor. Another thing, I usually don't need because I've already dragged the clips onto the timeline as I'm working is to select media pool so it closes this section. So this doesn't actually free up any workspace, but 
it looks less cluttered and for me it's easier to work there's there's less uh, distractions so if you notice even though the playhead is here there's nothing that you can see in the media window so just click on it or you could just click anywhere so it uh, becomes visible again you can make this preview of the video clip smaller by rolling the mouse wheel back towards you. You can make it larger so you can zoom in by rolling it away from you. So to give us some more workspace, I'm going to make this smaller by just hovering over anywhere in this area and rolling the mouse wheel back towards me. And then if you come down here, right under these icons and right above the top of the playhead, if you hover over it, your mouse pointer is going to split. So you can drag this up or drag it down. So I'm going to drag it up as far as possible. And then I'm going to hover over this area and roll the mouse wheel back towards me so I can see the entire video clip. You can do the same thing on the timeline. So the video and audio is separated by this light gray line. So if you hover your mouse over it, it'll split and then you can move things up and down. You can do the same thing with the video tracks. You can, you can make it larger or smaller. You just, it's at the top. It's right above where it says video one. And the reason I have two video tracks is because this right here, these are the JPEG images. Well, not the JPEG, they're actually PNG images that I used for text to put into the video. So they went on their, their own track. So if you hold the shift key on your keyboard and hover over an area and over the video section and roll your mouse wheel away from you it makes it larger rolling your mouse wheel back towards you makes it smaller do the same thing with the audio tracks i'm just hovering over it you can either hover over a, a, a area on the timeline or you can just come over here and you can do do the same thing and again if i want to make it smaller i just drag it down i can make this larger so you can make these these fine tuning adjustments if you if you want, and you also you have a down here for the audio. It's actually just the opposite for the video. That adjustment where it splits is above the where it, the uh, the track, and for the uh, audio, it's below it. So you can also hold the Alt or Option key on a Mac, and roll your mouse wheel forward, and it expands the track. Roll it back towards you, and it compresses it, makes it smaller, and it's going to do it for all, all the tracks. You can also hold your Control key or Command key on a Mac, and roll the mouse wheel back towards you and it will shift the scroll bar to the right it's moving everything to the on the timeline to the left rolling the uh, mouse wheel away from you causes the scroll bar to be moved to the left and everything on the, ti the timeline itself is moving to the right if you have several tracks you'll also have a scroll bar over here or if you bring this down you can see there's a scroll bar here now for scrolling up and down so i've got as you can tell by the scroll bar i've got the the entire uh track um, expanded so it's 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 off to the left and it's off to the right so if I want to 
to fit everything back so I can see the video from beginning to end in the uh, window of the the monitor or in this panel. Come up here and select this icon called Full Extent Zoom. And now this is from the very beginning of the clip all the way to the end. This gray bar right here, this I don't have in the PDF. I guess I could, I could update it and make a note. This is the in and out point of the video. So anything along this line is going to be processed when you want to finalize it and make the actual video so it can be uploaded to YouTube or some other platform. And you do that, and this is in other videos that I've created. So I just press the O key. So the in and the out point are at the same spot. So I can come along anywhere along the timeline and I can press the letter I for in, and that's where it will start processing, and then O. And if I brought this into the deliver where you're actually rendering and creating the finalized video so it can be uploaded, it would only process this part of the video. It would totally ignore everything to the left and to the right. So what you want to do, you just bring your playhead back to the beginning. You can either click the rewind button or you can just drag it all the way to the left, press the letter I on your keyboard, then bring the playhead all the way to the end and then press the letter O. So now everything um, from beginning to end will be rendered and it'll be processed um, so you can upload it. I did that in another video. It's not in this PDF, so that's just something that's a little bit extra. So you can also uh, move the playhead anywhere along the timeline. And if I wanted to zoom in on this section right here, I can select this icon that says Detailed Zoom, and it zooms in, and it's kind of fixed. You can only, you know, it zooms into a certain point. If you want to zoom in further, there's a couple things you can do. You could hold the Alt or Option key and roll your mouse wheel forward, moving it away from you, and it'll expand it. Or... You, and if you notice, it automatically selected this icon, Custom Zoom. So we were here. So rolling the mouse wheel automatically selects Custom Zoom, or you can select Custom Zoom, and then you can use this slider to expand it or contract it as much as you want. So I'm just reset it so everything is visible now from beginning to end. So you really don't have to select this custom zoom. If you just start adjusting the slider, it automatically gets selected and it, it automatically starts zooming in. And the playhead stays put. It doesn't, it doesn't move wherever it's on, ever it's located on your screen or where it's located on your screen. It well, until you bring it down out of, you know, make it the entire video as small as possible. Now this is extended as much as possible. And then we're again, reset, just click this, the, uh, the uh, full extent zoom icon. So I'm going to expand this and then I'm going to come down here to this slider or the scroll bar and just move it. So let's say I was working on a specific part of the clip or I was just looking at looking around and anyways I can't find the playhead. And I don't know where it's at. I've 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 been moving all over the place and I can't find it anywhere. Right down here at the bottom of the screen you'll see a little red hash mark. That's where the playhead is on the timeline. 
So if you take your slider and you move it towards that red hash mark, when you finally touch it, that's an easy way to find where your playhead is located on the timeline. So that's about it. That's how you can free up some uh, space on your um, or some get some extra room on your workspace by making these simple adjustments. And um, this is just the basics. So I figured I'd do is just do a short video. I hope this helped you out um appreciate it if you'd give the video a like and um thanks for watching